let's talk about why you can't heal your father wound. Three things. Number one, you are not accepting him for who he is. Okay, you are not accepting him for who he is right now. You are focusing on who you want him to be and who you've always wanted him to be. And as long as you are not accepting that he is the person he is standing in front of you, it will never work. You gotta get to a level of acceptance even though you don't like it. All right, number two. You're not looking to understand him. And I know this could be extremely triggering. You're not looking to understand him is a statement I have to say, because if you're not taking the time to understand why he is that way, why he's been that way, why he's acting the way he's acting without justifying his actions, you will not be able to accept that this is the human being you have in front of you, all right? For example, maybe his mother did the exact same thing to him or worse, and he did not have the access to the resources that you have today. He did not have the inner strength, the emotional maturity, the resilience to heal in ways that you have now understanding who he is and what he's been through will allow you to continue to heal, okay? It's a triggering one, like I said, and I know it's a really hard one, and this is why a lot of women stay stuck, because it's like, there are no excuses. He should have broken the cycle. Yes, Barbara, but he didn't. He didn't break the cycle, and this is why you have the opportunity to break the cycle, okay? So number three, you are not implementing proper boundaries to preserve your mental health, okay? You are not implementing proper boundaries to preserve your mental health. You are still acting like the little girl that was hurt by him. And as long as you, in your mind, see yourself as the little, little girl that was hurt by her dad, in whatever way, you will not be able to get to a level of self-esteem, and personal power where this person no longer has control over you, okay? People only have control over us when we're adults, when we give, when we're adults, when we give them that power, okay? So you gotta begin shifting this internally to see yourself as a grown woman, as a worthy queen, as a thriving queen. You gotta shift the way you see yourself. Your self-image needs to change. you got to upgrade your identity in order for you to be able to heal your father wound. So those are the three things to start off with. And let me know if you want me to do part two.